Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to copy attributes and keyframe attributes from one clip to other clips. So let me show you how this could be really powerful. So let's say, for example, you have this clip right here. You are doing a tutorial video and you want to zoom in on this part of your video. So the easy way to do that, you would go to your inspector, zoom in. We're going to move it over to the left a little bit. And we're also going to move up a little bit as well. Okay, so that's the view that I want. So now we have this view for the entirety of this clip. However, once we move over to our second clip, those attributes are no longer there. And so how do you actually put those same attributes in the second clip? Well, the real straightforward way is to go back to your original clip. You would copy these attributes and then you would paste it on your second clip. And even though that would work, it's really not the best way to do it. And if you have clips with multiple attributes, it's going to take you a lot of time and you can make mistakes. And so the best way to do that is to use the built-in copy and paste attributes feature in DaVinci Resolve. And so the way you do that is you would go to the clip that has the attributes you want. You would right click on your mouse, copy or control C on Windows, and then go over to your second clip. And all you have to do is right click and paste attributes or Alt V in Windows. So if you do that, you see some options here. So the first thing you see is keyframes. There's maintain timing and stretch to fit. And I'll go over those a little bit later. But the most important part here is all our video attributes. So anything related to video attributes like this transform feature, it will be included here. And then below that is any audio attributes. And finally, we have retime effects, which has to do with the speed of your clip. Now, I'll go over each one of these later on in the video as well. So in this case, we just want to paste all the video attributes. We'll go ahead and apply. And now what you notice is our second clip has the exactly the same video attributes, in this case, this transform attributes, as we do in the first clip. And so that's super easy to do. And now you don't have to worry about whether or not it has the same attributes because now both clips have the exactly the same values. So that's how you would easily copy and paste attributes from one clip to another clip. And you can even apply this to multiple clips if you wanted to. So that's what's really powerful about this feature. So now let's see how we can apply these same features to keyframes. And so the first thing I want to do is remove the attributes that I just pasted. And so the easiest way to do that is to right click on your clip and remove attributes. So we remove everything and reset it back to what it was before. And the same thing here, we'll just go ahead and remove the attributes. So now let's go ahead and add some keyframes and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I did before where I want to zoom in on a certain part of my video. So I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe here and then I want to start zooming in right here. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and we'll move up a little bit right here and maybe move over to the left. Okay. So if I choose this view right here, I'll be able to see the actual keyframes that I have. So as you can see right there, these are where I have my keyframes set. And then let's just say right here, I want to add a, another two keyframes. I'll add a keyframe here and then add another keyframe here. And I'll reset the values here. Okay. So let's see how that looks like. We'll go ahead and watch this from the beginning. It zooms in. And then eventually when it gets to this part, it is zoomed back out to its original size. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing as we did before for attributes. We're going to go ahead and right click on the clip. And then we're going to copy. We're going to go to our secondary clip right here. And we're going to go ahead and paste attributes. And we can do the same thing as we did before. Just the video attributes, we'll apply. And we'll go ahead and change this view. Great. And as you can see here, things are exactly the same. It has the same exact keyframe attributes in exactly the same positions. Now let's take a look at some of the other parts of this paste attributes that I talked about a little bit earlier. And so we're going to go ahead and remove these attributes. And we're going to go ahead and paste the attributes again. And if you recall earlier, the first part is keyframes where it's maintain timing or stretch to fit. Now the default is maintain timing, meaning that it's going to keep the exactly the same position as what you had before. So the timing is the same, but if you choose stretch to fit and we apply, the timing is going to be different uh, depending upon the length of your clip and also the speed of your clips. 
And so here the timing is not exactly the same in terms of the positioning of the keyframes. And so this one right here is slightly longer versus what we had here originally. And so that's how you can control the overall timings of the keyframes in your clip. And then other things that it has here on the pace attributes, if you notice that you can choose what video attributes that you want to paste. So you don't necessarily need to paste all the video attributes that you had on your original clip. And then if we go down further, we have our audio attributes. So let's go ahead and look at the audio attributes where we could go down here. And let's just say we adjust the audio, we'll increase it. And I'll do the same thing here. You can actually copy. And then if you go here, paste your attributes again. And this time you also choose the audio. And in this case, you could choose other attributes right here as well. The volume plugins equalizer. And I'll talk about the read time effects last. So let's go ahead and apply that. And so as you can see here, not only do we have the same video attributes, but we also have the same audio attributes. So this is the audio attributes that I had 13.04. We'll go back here. Same exact audio attributes. And so now you have all the same video and audio attributes on both of these clips. And as I stated earlier, you can apply this to other clips. You could go here and paste it again and it'll have the same values. And so those are like the main parts of the copy and paste attributes and how you can apply that to keyframes. So now let's look at the final one, which has to do with read time effects or basically the speed of your clips. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. If you're not familiar with what read time effects are, let me show you how you can actually change the speed of a clip. And so the first way you can do it is choose a clip, right click on your mouse, and then change clip speed. And here you can adjust it to whatever you want. Or secondly, you could choose the read time controls by right clicking, read time controls, and as you can see here, you could actually change it right now. It's at 100%. And now you could change the speed right here to some presets. And you could also add different speed points as well. So this gives you a visual look on how the speed changes throughout the clip. And so in this case, let's go ahead and choose a 400% speed. So it's going to be quicker and it will shorten the overall clip. So if we watch this right now, it's going to be a lot faster. So now we can go ahead and copy these new read time effect attributes over to another clip. So we're going to do like we did before, choose a clip, copy, then go to this clip, paste attributes. And in this case, I only want to paste the read time effects. So I'll choose that. Now there is another thing called ripple sequence. So I'm going to show you how that works later. So let's go ahead and apply this. And now it has shortened the clip. And if we go here and show the read time controls, it's also at 400%. So it has the same exact read time attributes as this original clip. Now, let me show you how the whole ripple uh, feature works. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this. And if we go back here and we paste attributes, if you choose ripple sequence, what's going to happen is if there's any space in between clips, it's going to go ahead and remove that. Okay. So if we were to do it right now, as we did before, you notice there's a space there. Now, if I undid that, and let me move over here so you could get a better look. And let's go ahead and paste attributes again. And this time we're going to choose ripple sequence. So it'll shift the whole clip back over here so there's no space in between the clips. So that's how you would apply this whole copy attributes for keyframes, for audio, and for read time or speed clip effects. And so that is how you would do that. And as you can see, it's very simple to do. And this could be a very powerful feature to have, especially if you're making a lot of adjustments to your clips and you don't want to have to manually redo that for all your other clips. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorial tips and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, 
check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.